or... Everyone was weirded out that he had suddenly left, no goodbye, he packed up a box and he was gone. Brittany saw that and then she went in afterwards and she was quite rightly concerned for her job, um, but we made it clear that, you know, she had done the wrong thing, but, um, you know, if she wanted to stay, she could. We had an acting manager, we call them chiefs of staff, um, named Fiona Brown. My chief of staff, Fiona Brown, has been utterly devastated by this and she did everything right. So um, she came in on the Tuesday morning and asked if a senior colleague and I would go into the office and speak with her. So when did Minister Reynolds speak to you about what happened? So I got a WhatsApp from Fiona Brown indicating that Minister Reynolds would like to have a meeting with me and Fiona on the following Monday. And I kind of expected to walk into Fiona's office where we'd been having all of our other meetings and um, we actually went into the room where it happened. You wanted her to go to the police. I did. I, in fact, there's only two people who I know of who, who facilitated her going to the police, and that was myself and my Chief of Staff, Fiona Brown. If you had your way, she would have gone straight to the police? On that Friday, before I'd even met her, yes. And that was... She hadn't said that she had been raped. She hadn't said there'd been a sexual assault. But my concern and Fiona's concern was, by the end of that week, she had said that she thought maybe something sexual had happened. In fact, the expression she used is he was on top of me. And all of a sudden he was on top of me and I physically couldn't get him off of me. Now, the advice we got is that is not an allegation of rape. Well, she still didn't use the R word, did she? She never, she never used the rape word, ever. Uh, and in fact, if you go back and have a look at one of the early stories, that you know, on the first day when the story broke, she's quoted in that story as saying she never used the rape word with us. Well, that was written by Samantha Maiden. It was. Did they offer you any counselling or anything? <laughs> they gave me one of those EAP brochures. <laughs> I love an EAP brochure. <laughs> oh, God. Fiona demonstrably counselled her, provided her support, had taken her to the AFP and then gave her an option um, to either stay working in Canberra because some of my ministerial staff were staying here, um, but others were coming back to Perth to campaign with me in Perth. 